In this forecast video, we're doing a big tropics update as we have Hurricane Danielle, Tropical Storm Earl, and much more to look at. Alrighty, welcome back into another more weather forecast video. Let's get right into things here. And as you can see, we do have Tropical Storm Earl down here in the Atlantic and then far northern Atlantic up here, we have Hurricane Danielle. We're going to be covering all of this in this video, so let's quickly look at the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook here from the National Hurricane Center. As you can see here, we have Hurricane Danielle up here in the far northern Atlantic as well as Tropical Storm Earl just north of Puerto Rico, expected to become a major hurricane as well. Um, our third topic of this video, this orange um, area to watch here, 40 to 60% chance of development in the next um, five days. And as you can see, we have a big cone of uncertainty. This isn't expected to affect the United States, but it shows that we are going to keep having tropical activity coming off of Africa. And again, um, we just keep having that tropical activity. Um, the tropics are starting to really, really wake up. We're starting to see a lot of tropical activity. And as we're going to later September, I do expect a lot of tropical activity. So let's look at Hurricane Danielle first things first here. Um, and as you can see right now, it is still a hurricane, pretty cold waters right now. So it's pretty impressive that it is um, a hurricane in those cold waters up here in the Northern Atlantic. But as we go into Thursday, it is expected to become a tropical storm. And then as we go into Friday, we do have a huge um, cone of uncertainty here. Up, up here in the northern Atlantic, um, but the National Hurricane Center does expect this to go off and potentially hit per Portugal and Spain. It's not going to be able to still be um, a tropical um, storm, I don't think, maybe a tropical depression or maybe a very low-end tropical storm. So expect maybe some wind damage over here on the co coast of um, Portugal and um, northern Spain, but this could also maybe take a track up here towards Ireland and the United Kingdom, but we aren't expecting a hurricane here because the waters are just too cold um, to um, have that type of system up there. The waters are just too cold, so this is going to downgrade into a tropical storm and then eventually um, likely weaken and become a tropical depression and produce some pretty um, gnarly winds over here in Portugal and Spain is where that is expected to head next. That's where that's the land it's expected to hit next, but not expecting too many impacts over there. So let's get right all over to Tropical Storm Earl right now. It is a tropical storm, but it is expected to develop and go into the um, even far northern Atlantic. Right now it's a tropical storm. But by 2 a.m. on Wednesday, it does it, we are expecting this to become a hurricane. And then as we go into Thursday and Friday, this could affect Bermuda here. As you can see, that's where Bermuda is. And here is our cone of uncertainty here. Now, if it takes, well, let me erase this right here. If it takes this sort of track, we're going to be dealing with a lot in Bermuda. If it takes this sort of track, it's going to be a lot better, a uh, better situation in Bermuda. So we got to watch what the models are forecasting and which track this is expected to take. So Bermuda, you got to get ready for this tropical storm force winds and maybe even hurricane force winds if it takes this track right here. But people in Bermuda, if you're watching this um, forecast video, you got to get ready for this because you could possibly be dealing with pretty strong winds here. And this could impact you guys. And again, it is if it this does brush um, off to the east of Bermuda or brush just off the coast of Bermuda, we are expecting this to happen on Tuesday, um, Thursday um, into Friday this week. And then as we go into Friday, this is expected to be a um, Category 3, which would be a major hurricane and then is expected to go into the northern Atlantic. So again, if you're in Bermuda, you got to get ready for this. Um, and again, this is expected to become a major hurricane as we go into um, later this week. But again, if this does take a track towards Bermuda and brush right off of Bermuda, we could be dealing with a pretty bad situation. But we do hope that it does take this sort of track. We don't know which one for right now, but I will keep you guys updated on that. So let's get to our last um, 
our last topic of this video we are looking at the gfs model for right now as you can see right here we got um hurricane danielle tropical storm earl right here and as we go into the coming days so let's look at the gfs model right now and as you can see tropical storm earl is doing a lot up there spinning around a lot um, and as you can see, as we go into September 9th here, we are expecting um, uh, Hurricane Earl at this point to become a pretty major hurricane, um, possibly a Category 3 hurricane, and also possible Tropical Storm Fiona right here, um, just um, in the northern Atlantic here. Trop tropical Storm um, Fiona would be our next tr named tropical system but we i don't know if this i don't know if i can expect this to become a tropical storm it looks like it's going to be fairly weak but we gotta pay attention to these high pressure systems right here if we continue to see high pressure dominating this region and if we can get a high pressure um system to come over here then that is going to suppress all of our tropical storm activity all of our tropical activity down into um, the Caribbean maybe even so all of our tropical systems tropical waves that could possibly come off of Africa are going to be going through the Caribbean and maybe even come up into the Gulf of Mexico if we do see um, high pressure develop there so as we go into September 12th here you can see we have pretty strong high pressure here and if we can maintain that there um, we can expect to possibly see, as you can see, our high pressure system right there, that is going to suppress all of this down. And this could, again, sneak up here. That's what we want to happen. This could sneak up into the Northern Atlantic and not affect the United States. But if we get high pressure to dominate this region over here as well, then we could be expecting not a good situation here over in the Caribbean because that is going to force these storms to go over here and possibly affect the Caribbean and the United States. So everybody over here has got to get ready for this because if we see continued tropical activity and high pressure dominating this region, then we are going to be seeing um, more tropical activity going into the Car Caribbean and possibly affecting the United States. That does it for this um, Monday forecast video. Make sure you subscribe and go follow me on Twitter. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.